let's go to page 481 and number one so you can use the calculator or the table table is kind of hard to use so I'm going to use calculator so number one is 1.06 to the 10th power so make sure you know how to use your calculator so to the 10th power equal okay. and so you says run it off to three significant digits so this will give you 1.79 okay. okay number three Clear. So you got 0.38 to the 5 power. So there's a power button right over here. So to the 5 power equal. And again, three significant digits. So you have to get three digits. So this would be equal to 0, 0.0. So the 0 in front doesn't count. So it would be 792. Okay, number 5. So this is 12.7 to the 5 over 2 power. So you can just use the decimal, so be 2.5 power. So 12.7 to the 2.5 power equal. And again, one of three digits, so it'd be 575. Because point is a 574.7, so you have one of two, 575. Okay, again, three digits, three significant digits. Okay, number seven. So you have the fifth root of 81.2 to the fourth power. Okay, so in this case, what you want to do is you, you want to convert this into exponential form. So you get 81.2 to the four over five power. Okay, and four over five power is 0.8. Okay, so you're going to go 81.2 to the 0.8 power equal and this would be 33.70, so you can just chop it off the zeros, one, so ends would be 33.7. Okay. okay, so now let's go to the next one. <clears throat> okay, number nine, you have a log. Now, when this all number means it's base 10, so this is equal to 0 0.8531. So whenever you giving this number, you have to look for this number. You have to use a second function. So you enter 0 0.8531. You have to go second LOT. Okay. And you want three significant digits would be 7.13. Okay. So this assignment is all about how to use your calculator. So make sure you're familiar with your calculator. The next one is LOG, the log x equal to 2.84. Okay, so you can get your calculator. So you're going to go 2.84. And again, to get rid of the log, you have to go second log, right? So second log. And so you're going to get 691.8. So you have to run it off to 692. Again, to get rid of the LOG, you have to use second function. So second LOG, and that's how you get the X. Okay, number 13. You have log of X equal to negative 1.8. So you can get your calculator. So 1.8, negative. Again, to find this number, you have to get rid of the LOG. So get rid of that, you have to use second function. Okay, so this would be 0 0.0158. Okay, again, the other one, with the, the next stage is 4, so it's, it's less than 5, so you can just get rid of it. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 15. So these are the two parts. So you have to get calculation ready form and then calculate. So you got 3 to the x equal to 30. Okay. So for this one, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the log on both sides so you can bring these things down. So you got LOG of 3 to the x equal to LOG of 30. Now you can use a third law to bring this to the front. Okay. And you can get 
get rid of this by dividing it by log of 3, the log 3, divide by log 3. So you got x equal to log 30 over log 3. So this is your answer for part A. Okay, so means you're solving for the variable and you're ready to use calculator. So part B is when you actually use calculator. So you're going to go 30 log divided by 3 log equal and you want the three significant digits, so be 3.095. So answer 3.0959. So you want to run it off to three digits. Okay, so this is, so you chop off, you have to get three digits. So you locate the digit up to that. So this get run it up, so it becomes 3.10, right? Nine becomes 10. Okay, again, you have to get three digits. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to number 17. Okay, 17, you have 5.6 to the x is equal to 56. So you can, if when a variable is an exponent position, you have to take the, the log on both sides. So take the log on both sides. Okay. And then up to that, you have to use a third law to bring the x to the front. And that's the whole purpose of taking the log. So you can bring it down to the front. Okay, and then after you divide by log of 5.6, log of 5.6. Uh, uh, 5 so this we cancel out. So x equal to log of 56 over log of 5.6. So that's your answer for part A. Okay. Now for part B, you're going to use calculate and you're going to calculate. So you got 56 LOG divided by 5.6 LOG equal. So you're going to get 2.3365 and so forth, right? Again, you want to run off the three digits, so this is where you're going to chop off. So 6 is 5 or more, so you have to move up, so it'd be 2.34. Okay, let's go to 19. <coughs> Number 19, you have 30 to the negative x is equal to 5. So take the log on both sides. Okay, whenever you see variable is an exponent, right away, that's your clue to take the LOG so that this can come to the front. So you got negative x, LOG of 30 equal to LOG of 5. So now you have to solve for x. So you have to divide by negative log of 30, divide by negative log of 30. Okay, so this way cancel. So you got x equal to, um, I'm going to bring the negative to the top, okay? Because it looks kind of awkward with the negative on the bottom. Okay, so that's your answer for part A. That's your calculation ready. Now part B is you're going to use calculator. So you have to work your way backwards. So you have to go 5 LOG, then you have to times by negative 1. So I'm going to put negative in front, okay? And then you have to divide by log of 30. So divide by 30 LOG, push equal. So X will equal to 0 0.473197, right? So again, you have to run it off to three digits. So this is where you cut off. So 1 is not enough, so just drop it off. So x equal to 0 0.473. Okay. okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 21. You got 3.5 to the 2t equal to 60. Okay, so you can take the LOG on both sides. Okay, and as soon as you, when you have the LG, now you can use the um, the third law to bring it to the front. So you got two t LOG of three point five equal to LOG of sixty. So now to solve for t, you have to divide by two, divide by two. So this cancel out. You have to divide by log of three point five, log of three point five. Okay, so this will cancel out. So you got t equal to log sixty over 2 log of 
Okay, so that's your answer for part A. Now part B, you have to be careful with this tool over here. Okay, so on the calculator, everything on the bottom, you have to push divide. So you have to go 60, L-O-G, you're going to divide it by 2. Okay, then you have to push divide again. So divide by 3.5, L-O-G, equal. So you're going to get T equal to 1.6341, right? and so forth, right? So again, you want to chop off at three digits. So four is not enough, so you can just drop that. So t equal to 1.63. Okay. Okay, so 482 number 23, yeah, 4 to the x is equal to 4 squared, uh, 8 squared of 2. Okay, and this one says solve each equation without using a calculator or, or logarithm. Okay, and it says see example 2 on page 461. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so what we're going to do is, to do that, all you have to do is try to make it into the same base. So 4 is equal to 2 square, okay? 8 equal to 2 to the 3 power, and square of 2 is 2 to the 1 half power. Okay, so then after that, you're going to multiply out, so you got use a third law, so it'd be 2 to the 2x equal to 2 to the... And this one, when you add 3 plus 1 half is 3 over 3 and 1 half, so it'd be 7 over 2. Right? 3 plus 1 half is 7 over 2. Then after that, you're going to do the matching. So you got 2x equal to 7 over 2. Then you're going to times by 1 half on both sides to cancel out the 2. Right? So this cancel out. So x equal to 7 over 4. Okay, number 25. You got 125 to the x is equal to 25 square root of 5. Okay, so you can just go and make into the lower base. So 125 is 5 to the 3. And this one, 25 is 5 square. Square root of 5 is 5 to the 1 half power. All right, so you can make everything to base 5. Then apply the third law, so you got 5 to the 3x on this side. This one, this, this one when you multiply, this is the first law. So when you multiply, you have to add the, the top. So 2 plus 1 half is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, so you can 2 plus 1 half is 5 over 2. So now you can do the matching. So you got 3x equal to 5 over 2. So to solve, you have to get rid of the 3. So multiply by 1 third. You don't want to divide because when you divide, you're going to end up with complex fraction. So multiply by 1 over 3. So that this will cancel out. So x will equal to 5 over 6. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to the next one. <clears throat> okay, number 27, you got x to the 2 over 5 power is equal to 34. So to solve for x, you have to get rid of that. Now to get rid of that, you need to go and raise it to, using the third law, so raise it to the 5 over 2 power. So raise it to the reciprocal. So that way, 2 over 5 times 5 over 2, this becomes 1. So you got x to the 1 will equal to that. So again, to solve this, use your calculator. So you got 34, raise it to the 5 over 2 is 2.5. So, uh, or you can use fraction, 5 over 2 equal, okay. And run it off to three significant digits, so it'd be 6, 7, 4, 0. Okay, number 29. Okay, you have cube root of x to the 4 equal to 60. So first, let's go and make it into exponential form. So this is x to the 4 over 3 equal to 60. 
Now to get rid of that, you need to go and apply the third law. So, uh, so raise it to the three over four power, right? Again, you want to do the reciprocal, so that way when you apply the third law, it becomes one. So, uh, but whatever you do on this side, you have to do exactly the same on the other side. So now when you multiply, this becomes one. So it'd be x equal to, so you get your calculator, so you go 60 to the three over four power, so three over four power equal and this is equal to 21.558. Again, you want a three significant digits, so you chop it off right over here. So it'd be x will equal to 21.6. Because this is five or more, you have to run up. Okay? And so it'd be 21.6. <clears throat>